In this video I will show you how we banked more than 200 pips on sterling USD by using the market structure and we're gonna of course take a look at all the measures and some of the indices so while I roll the intro and disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to this channel do not forget to subscribe see you over there Sterling USD broke this uh, minor trend line um, on the daily as well. So we are trading below that. One could expect a possible retest to that area. Um, we are trading below weekly as one as well right now. Um, any retest to this area could be a possible level to start looking for another push lower on uh, Sterling USD following this ongoing sentiment here yeah yeah and uh, here is uh, the trade guys um, as i showed you in the previous weekly overview we were talking about this trend line and that what i said was if we break the trend line expect a retest and a continuation so if we go down to the four hour to explain the trade a little bit in details we see that we had this very strong break below the trend line, reached the weekly S1 where we started uh, talking about a possible correction from this level. And um, yeah, we switched down to the one hour as well and uh, we start seeing this consolidation before the next push to the upside. So when we play out such a trade, we're looking at previous structure, which is a very, very important thing for my trading. I always look at previous structure. Was it an important support and a resistance level or not? And in this case, it was a clear level and uh, the market did that correction. Now we start uh, thinking about where to go with a stop loss. And that is always, in my opinion, above previous structure high as we had here was the major swing high that happened to be also above the 200 moving average and above the weekly pivot point now uh, if you're not um, um, aware about the pivot point we do use them a lot in my trading room and they are a part of my trading course so if you're interested get in touch with me so in any case the uh, stop loss uh, above previous high so if previous high was uh, what was it uh, to the previous size we had 75 pips and the stop loss was about 90 pips something like this above this and when we looked also before uh, the second target we uh, target always the next major swing low which is this one and that would give us a one-to-one -one. and target two we look once again after the break we look left to see where could the market stop in the next move to the downside and as you see we had these two lows here which were uh, our target yeah the market did push below that reach at the major level but there is no need to uh, uh, be greedy yeah so uh, it is a great uh, trade about 200 pips and i had actually um Two entries here and one entry here on the break uh, as uh, I can show you that trade I think I have it here where here it is so uh, as you see um, on this um, chart here it is the 30 minute chart uh, up here uh, the, the first entries and then on the break and retest was the second entry before the next push back to the downside yeah so uh, on trading view it looks like this uh, first two entries break retest another entry and target two as well was reached so i hope you found this uh, trade breakdown helpful for you guys and of course if you want um, these uh, kind of trade ideas day in and day out you are welcome to join our uh, chat and trading room where I do these analyses every single day 
starting with a morning uh, briefing video and then um, updates during the trading day about all the markets so uh, if you want to do so i do have now a great offer 14 days trial for only one dollar all you need to do is um, go to www.pa-fx.com and subscribe over there okay perfect so let's get started with the weekly overview so as usual we take a look at the news events and i know guys that you skip this part of the video so <laughs> i won't be uh, long here so all i want you to know this is uh, gonna be a very bumpy week uh, because a lot of major news event to happen and as you see JRP sterling um, and the US dollar uh, uh, NFP next week uh, super Thursday for the sterling in JRP on Wednesday also monetary policy and rate statement and many other news event as the CAD Aussie New Zealand so just keep an eye on those event guys before you enter any trade yeah uh, but of course uh, these I explain in much more details in my trading room for those of you who are in the, in the chat room and in the trading room okay so we will start with the Dixie uh, on the weekly uh, time frame and uh, as you see we uh, now broke this high that we've been talking about in the previous uh, weeks that we broke and closed on the weekly above these highs and uh, we also uh, have a break and close about above the 200 uh, weekly moving average yeah so that is pretty strong for the dollar um, daily time frame we had a very nice push still that broke above this previous high and Friday was a bearish day as you see uh, there was uh, could be some profit taking started here and uh, more beers entered the market but all that happened during the New York session this uh, correction now the levels to look at for uh, the Dixie is as it shows here uh, this is the first uh, main level I will be watching to see possible dollar strengths around the 96.15 now many of you send me questions do I trade the Dixie and uh, if not why and stuff like that the main thing the main reason I do the Dixie every time guys just to show you the uh, dollar uh, strengths or weakness or how the dollar is doing it's not about trading the Dixie itself you could trade the opposite of the Dixie is the euro USD so but this is more to give you um, main idea on how the dollar is doing overall okay so gold we're still trading in the same uh, range here as you see if we go to the weekly we see that it was um, a bullish week with some rejection from the upside here go to the daily we see a rejection keep coming from the upside at this important level here this neckline that got broken and um, yeah friday was a very strong rejection back to the downside inside this uh, box on the four hour but the price is now trading in the upper uh, in the upper side of this bigger box as you see in this smaller box here and uh, we do have bearish divergence on the rsi and since the price keep pushing back inside the box there is a possibility that we test the bottom of the box uh, next week if the dollar uh, continue uh, to the upside and if the stock market start uh, making some correction also to the upside because gold is being used once again now as a possible safe haven asset uh, before the bottom here we do have the mid range here uh, uh, where we had the last week piv uh, pivot point could act as possible support as well you need to keep an eye on that for gold to keep moving to the upside you need to see a break above uh, this previous high and that the market hold this level that would mean a longer term continuation to the upside so we're still going sideways and we should play the box or the range uh, the edge of the range until we have a breakout oil um, also almost same uh, scenario sideways at the end of last week if we look on the weekly we see that it was also a bearish week with uh, some weeks from the downside almost all 50 percent retracement after the uh, test of this support level that i mentioned for you last week in the weekly overview 
and uh, on the daily we see that we reached that level and did three bullish days or a possible correction uh, this leg here is still a bearish leg but we did reach a possible at least a short term support for now and uh, you see we broke the 200 moving average and we went back to it on the four hour time frame the range we have to play with is up here around the monthly s1 is your resistance another try to this support uh, you could look for a possible bounce for more downside on oil what we want to look for is a break below this structure and if that happened then we have these lows to test and the major support on the next uh, move to the downside would be this area down here yeah and as you see before that we do have this possible level also at around the 64 that may act as support as for now uh, there is a possibility for another bounce to the upside and uh, keep an eye on this uh, particular range for now until that is broken. EURUSD, <clears throat> you see that on the weekly we're doing the opposite as we did on the Dixie. So it was a bearish week with a close below previous lows. Uh, almost tested the 200 moving average on the weekly once again and on the daily still lower lows and lower highs and i th i still think this market's objective is at least to to test these lows down here yeah so that's what i'm looking for on the euro uh, as for now we broke outside of this um, uh, descending channel and uh, the next level to look at for a possible selling is up here a retest of this broken structure up here uh, but if the price breaks and hold above this high then there is a possibility that we do a deeper correction back toward these levels up here a major resistance level that uh, may get tested as well if the break above this happened as uh, for my part i will be looking at first for a possible retest and another leg to the downside to uh, test this last low that didn't got tagged yet uh, that should be the market objective sterling usd we talked about this uh, trade already so let's take off this and uh, let's take a look where we are at right now uh, on the weekly you see it is a major bearish week for the sterling and it could be a start of the this second leg we have this impulse correction and possibly another impulse but before that we should not forget that we are sitting at a very very strong uh, and important support level down here this was the low two weeks after the brexit events then it acted as uh, resistance then uh, we broke it a little bit then we had it as support and now we are trading at that level again on the daily you see it more clearly down here support resistance support support resistance and support so it is a major important level monthly s1 and we do have uh, major news for the sterling on thursday next week you see all this coming on thursday so uh, you need to be aware of that so what happened here double top we broke the neckline there is a possibility for more downside but first we maybe got uh, gonna look for some kind of correction to the upside the level i'm watching once again is this as possible support and to the upside this may be our um, major resistance um, as first once again and from that level a possible leg to the downside is possible is uh, very possible actually so as far as there is no break above this there is still uh, more possibilities for downside if this area got broken this high got broken then prepare for a deeper correction up toward monthly pivot point in these previous highs yeah uh, use some uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement as confluence as well if you want take this whole leg and uh, start measuring if we have any confluence level you see up here we have the 50% uh, uh, Fibonacci or the 50% retracement at that same level we do have this uh, major support and resistance area so uh, but that is uh, a deep correction so first of all you need to see if we're gonna break above this i will be watching this area for a possible shorting opportunities 
USD JP a very strong rejection last Friday. Let's take a look on the weekly though. We see that last week ended up as a bearish engulfing uh, candle, not the strongest one, but still a bearish engulfing candle. And uh, we tested this uh, support that I mentioned earlier, uh, the 111 and 80 is still our uh, important support level here. And uh, this push uh, happened when the stock market start uh, reversing to the upside. So if the stock market continue upside, this may have a chance to keep pushing higher. But if the opposite happened, there is a possibility for more downside here. Yeah. Uh, so any break back below the 111.80 will open the door for more downside. So keep an eye on this important level because if broken if we have a close below on the four hour that would mean at least a retest to these lows and if that got broken then that will open the door to test these lows as well so uh, what to do next week yes keep an eye on the 111.80 as your possible support and if the market give you a higher high above this high here then there is a possibility for another push higher toward the monthly pivot point. Some kind of consolidation zone down here is uh, possible as well. Okay. Uh, Aussie USD, very strong push last Friday, happening at this last line of defense because below that, as you see, we do not have much left. Yeah. If we look at the weekly on that, you see this. Um, open space down here that got the bulls are defending right now and on the four hour time frame if this really to reverse to the upside you want to see a break above this area that hold and then maybe another push toward these highs is possible but as for now where the price is testing right now is actually an interesting level for a possible next leg to the downside this is still resistance as far as there is no break and close above it this could happen another push to the downside this is what i'm looking for as first uh, this week um, usd cat we have on the daily still higher highs and higher lows we could not break and close above that last week so uh, still this monthly r1 area is resistance but on the four hour, we broke this. There is two scenarios here. If the market break and hold back above the monthly R1, then there is a possibility for another push higher. Or as I have my arrows right now that you may get a retest to here and rejection. And that would maybe send us all the way back down to this major support level at 1.300, where we may expect another bounce uh, to the upside at this level yeah below this that will open the door for more uh, downside but as first this is major support this is resistance for now usd chief still did not uh, make that tag to these highs yet uh, we broke above previous highs on the daily we're still bullish on the daily but friday was uh, as you see rejection and bearish engulfing almost so what I'm looking for as first is this support level for a possible retest, bullish evidence and another leg to the upside. But if that got broken like this, then we may test these lows down here at these bottoms before another push up. So uh, first look for possible support here and another leg to the upside on USD chief. And New Zealand USD as you see we had also it did mimic all the um, a push all the way back up after testing deep below here it is still uh, not taking out any uh, higher highs yet so uh, still could be considered bearish on any retest toward this level look for bearish evidence and another push to the downside for more upside on this one you need to see a break that hold above this level then maybe we do have another push toward monthly pivot point. But as first, this should be resistance up here. Watch that as a possible resistance level. 
Okay, so let's take a fast look on the stocks since you need to keep an eye on those to know what's going on with JAPI and if you're trading them as well. For the Dow, we broke a major support level. We broke below the 200 moving average, did a retest and another push lower. And Friday, we got some defense here. Uh, for our time frame, we see that we broke below this range. We did the retest and another push uh, down. I'm still expecting the same to happen. So keep an eye on a possible retest to this area. And this is your first selling level. Um, FTSE still uh, also uh, holding this support, this major support. If we look at the weekly, you see how important this level is, because below that, that would mean we open the way the door all the way to test these lows down here. Bearish engulfing candle closed below the weekly 200 moving average, and on the daily, we still lower lows and lower highs uh, it is a clear range here that you should be watching this is the bigger range as it looks like now this is the major resistance and this still is the major support and on the four hour as you see we have this uh, box been playing and now we're trying to go back inside it so if this market keep pushing toward this level look as first for a possible push lower and if this break happen at close below this low would mean much more room to the downside on the FTSE as well. And the last one is the DAX and that is the chart I sent out on uh, Facebook uh, last week when this break happened and uh, I told you guys now we broke below the 200 moving average below these major supports. So what I'm looking at for now is on lower time frame for a retest to this structure and another push lower to retest of this structure down here. That is the plan for this uh, for next week. So uh, if we go to a lower time frame like the daily, you see we're still below that level. And on the four hour, it looks like this. Look for the retest, bearish evidence here and try to sell it if you got your trigger because the main market objective could be to to test this support down here now after breaking below that okay guys that was it thanks a lot do not forget to hit the like button and if you're new to the channel do subscribe see you next week bye bye